You know what time it is. It's time time. Hey everyone, it's Rob Finds Treasure. Welcome back to my channel. We've got another dime hunt today. Now, obviously, this is only one box in front of me, and typically it takes me two, three, four, or even more boxes to get enough finds to produce a video. So I'm thoroughly expecting to marry this box with another box or two, and fingers crossed, I can get this video out before the end of the year and add any silver to my 2021 silver jar. But if not, we'll be checking for any of the dime varieties listed on my clad varieties mat, as well as any foreign coins, proof coins, or anything kind of cool. Now, I already popped the top of this box to make sure that I had circulated dimes, and I do, because as I've mentioned, my dimes, my quarters, and my nickels lately have mostly been uncirculated boxes. We're going to get right into the hunt. Obviously, uh, roll one will kick us off. If we find something between now and the end of the box, I'll be back. If not, it'll be a box wrap up. Well, we're already on roll number 36 of this first dime box. And uh, we did find a 1970 Denver minted proof reverse dime in decent shape compared to what I mostly find. And I'm gonna double check this 1967 against my album because it's in pretty nice shape as well. Probably AU-ish. But I bring in because our first real find of the box is gonna be a 2009 Denver. And I say real find. It's just a lower mint, and it's only worth face value, but I do collect these, and they're hard to find in circulation. So that's what we got so far. No silver yet. 36 rolls in. Well, our hope for a little end-of-the-box luck didn't come to fruition, but we have three finds on the board. First box down. You guys know what's going to be happening next. As soon as I have another box, we'll marry it to this hunt and hopefully get some more stuff for the board. I'll see you when I have another box in another day or two. Well, we are back with another dime box. You guys already know the finds from the first dime box. I was able to pick up another circulated box this week, and uh, hopefully this box contains something silvery. We're going to keep on going with this hunt, see if we're going to add to the board, see if we're going to add silver to the jar. I'll bring you an if and when we have a find in this box. Well, we have an early find. We're on roll number two, and uh, we just ran across a 2009 low-minted dime, 2009 Philadelphia to boot, because I don't get very many Phillies in my area. That's two 2009 dimes in the hunt so far, a P and a D. Hopefully, that's a good sign. Well, we're on roll number 48, and despite our eyes begging us to stop looking, we have found three more 70D proof reverse dimes, which is nice, but they're not really gonna fetch much money in their condition. I bring in though, because in roll 48, I think we have a silver dime right there at the edge. I just started to peel the edge away, and that darker one looks suspicious, but I think I see a clad layer. Let's pray this is a silver dime. It'd be the first of the two boxes so far, and be nice to add it to the jar. And it's going to be a silver dime because I saw the Denver mint mark on the reverse next to the torch. And of course, it's the last year silver, but it's 90% silver. 1964, 90% silver dime. We'll definitely take that. A few rolls left. Oh, and since I have you here, let's just double check that. Yeah, not silver. All right. Can we get another one in the last two rolls? Well, another dime box is down, and you know what? I'll take it. Three proof reverses and a silver plus an 09P. We're not lighting up the board, but we have silver on the board, and that's a good thing. Two dime boxes is not enough for an episode. I am getting at least one more box. I'll try to squeeze out two more dime boxes. That'll be 10,000 dimes hunted. I'll be back with another dime box or two to continue with this episode. Well, we've got some good news, and we've got some bad news. The good news is... I've got another circulated dime box to hunt to add to this episode. The bad news is I got nothing but uncirculated dimes for the rest of 2021, which was about six or seven days, if I recall. And so we're already in January of 2022. That means that silver dime is going to count towards the 2022 silver jar, just like these boxes are now going to count towards boxes hunted for 2022. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and crack open the top. Obviously, like I said, I've already checked it. It's circulated dimes. Let's see if we can kick off 2022 
with one of my worst types of dime boxes with maybe another silver dime. I'll be back if and when, if and when, we have a find to share with you. Welcome back. Another bust dime box. And I'm telling you, I don't even know when the last time I found a silver dime in this type of box. I'll have to look back at my videos, but I don't think I have found a silver dime in this type of box since either early 2021 or maybe even 2020. Either way, no silver, really no finds in that box. We did manage to eke out a 70 Philadelphia proof reverse dime, but again, not in fantastic shape. We're going to go with one more dime box as soon as I can get it, and hopefully it's not this kind, and hopefully it's not the uncirculated kind either. I'll be back with the final dime box of this hunt. Might have to start asking the Silver Genie to help me out, though. Well, I'm back, and I was able to get one more dime box, but unfortunately, it's the kind of dime boxes that I don't think I get silver in. We just finished a dime box like this and got absolutely nothing. Fingers crossed that this dime box gives us at least something more for the board. I'll see you guys if and when that occurs. Well, we're on rule number 50, and I'll tell you, these type of boxes have been extremely tough for me. I said it in the last box pretty much. I don't know when the last time I found silver in one of these type of boxes has been. So far, through the first 49 rolls, all we found was another 70D proof reverse dime in terrible shape as normal. I will make mention that this box was odd in the fact that it had a bunch of 1996s in it, mostly Denver, and I don't see that many, so I kept my eye out for the 96W, which I have found before during a hunt, although we didn't find one. <laughs> Ironically, in the last roll of the box, we're going to get a Republica de Panama, or basically a Balboa dime, and look at the year, 1996. So based on the number of 96s I have found in this box, I feel like somebody had pulled them out for whatever reason, maybe a birth year, and decided to go ahead and cash them in finally. And of course, we'll take this one. Now, when I flip this over, it's one of my favorite designs from Panama with the Balboa Warrior on it. And uh, look at that. What an absolute beauty. I absolutely love these types of coins. Uh, they make them in the half dollars, the quarters, and the dimes, but not the nickels. Either way, we'll take it. A 96 foreign Balboa dime. It's a nice find. Don't think we're going to have anything else. I'll be back with a wrap-up. Well, like I said, that box has been hunted. Another tough dime box. And you know what? We're going to stop the video here. That's four dime boxes, 10,000 dimes hunted. And uh, let me show you what we got. In this last box, I didn't point it out in the last clip, but there was a really nice 1974D, which I'll check against my album just to see if it upgrades. We did get five 1970 Denver proof reverse dimes, not worth much in their condition, and also a Philadelphia proof reverse from 1970. Another nice find was this 1967 in really nice condition. We'll check that against the album. We got an 09P and 09D, that 96 Balboa dime, and of course the find of the four boxes is going to be this 1964 Denver silver dime, which will be nice to add to the silver jar. Again, we're going to stop it here. No sense in just running through boxes, maybe one a week or two a week, and keep adding to the hunt if we're not going to have fines. Plus, I want to get the silver in the jar and make sure the 2022 silver jar is happy. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this dime time hunt. If you did, I'd appreciate that thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting, and thanks for watching. It's not a lot of silver, but it's our first silver dime for 2022. And uh, the jar has been happy because he's been fed nicely. Now he's got a little snack as well.